You see the asteroid reduce for launch. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. We have ignition. And liftoff of the United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket carrying SF 8 for the United States Space Force. Now 10 seconds in the flight, vehicles will be on the pitch over maneuver, body response look good. You're now hearing the voice of Patrick Moore providing launch vehicle ascent data. Now 20 seconds in, RD-180 propellant utilization system has gone to closed loop control system response looks good. Now passing 30 seconds into flight. Vehicles completing the pitch over maneuver, body rate responses continue to look good, engine operating parameters continue to look good. SRV chamber pressure uh, within expected ranges. Now coming up on 58 seconds into flight, Mach 1, Atlas 5 is now supersonic. RE-180 engine operating parameters continue to look good, SRV chamber pressure looks good. Now passing through max Q, maximum dynamic pressure. Body rates continue to look good throughout boost phase. Now three minutes remaining in the booster phase of flight. Now passing one minute, 30 seconds into flight. SRV chamber pressure tailing off now as SRVs are burning out. And we have SRB burnout. RD-180 throttling down slightly as expected. Engine response looks good. Now passing one minute, 50 seconds into flight. Body rates continue to look good throughout boost phase. RD-180 engine operating parameters continue to look good. Now two minutes into flight, we have good indication of jettison of the SRB. The Atlas V now weighs one half of its liftoff weight. And vehicle has gone to closed loop steering. Body rates look good. Two minutes remaining in the booster phase of flight. Atlas V is now 38 miles in altitude, 35 miles downrange distance, traveling at 4,200 miles per hour. Now two minutes, 40 seconds into flight. RD-180 pump speeds and injector pressures continue to look good. Body rates continuing to look good throughout boost phase. Now passing three minutes into flight. And Centaur Reaction Control System is now pressurizing the flight levels. RD-180 now throttling down to maintain a constant 2.5G acceleration limit. Engine response looks good as it's maintaining that uh, 2.5G acceleration limit. Now one minute remaining until BECO. And standing by for payload fairing jettison. And we have good indication of payload fairing jettison. And we have CFLR jettison. Now three minutes, 50 seconds into flight. Body rate's continuing to look good. And RD-180 now throttling to maintain a constant 4.6G acceleration limit. And we've begun boost phase chill down. And standing by for booster engine cutoff shortly. And we have BECO booster engine cutoff standing by for stage set. We have good indication of Atlas Centaur separation. We have pre start on the RL 10. We have ignition and full thrust on the RL-10. Chamber pressure looks good. Body rates look good. Now 
And this first burn of today's mission will last approximately eight and a half minutes. Now passing five minutes into flight. Centaur's gone to closed loop steering. Body rates continue to look good. And the RCS system has begun initial thruster firings for thermal conditioning as expected. Centaur is now 140 this miles in altitude, 420 miles downrange distance, traveling at This is Atlas Mission Control at T plus 5 minutes and 25 seconds. We just heard flight commentator Patrick Moore confirm the successful completion of the early phase of today's flight, and all systems continue to operate nominally.